Can we just take a moment to give a round of applause for biker shorts? Because you know your girl is not a fan of the typical Bermuda shorts. But when we're garment girlies, what do we do in the summertime? Like, are we just destined to die of heat from wearing jeans? No, biker shorts are the answer <laughs> to our prayers. Not actually, but you know what I mean. They are the best. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They are comfortable and there's so many options. And the other thing that can be hard with biker shorts is they come in a variety of lengths. There are like six inch inseam to 10 inch inseam. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out a variety of different biker shorts from different brands and rating them so you know where you should go shopping for biker shorts for this summer. Before we jump into the video, if this is the first time that you're seeing me, hi, my name is Mimi. I make content for Latter-day Saints by a Latter-day Saint. So if you're interested in topics like modest fashion, discussing church culture or doctrine, I'd love to have you a part of our little community. So please consider subscribing. And with that all said, let's just jump right into the shopping. Hey guys, so I have been spending all morning just looking into different biker shorts. I had like this huge list of places that my followers on Instagram recommended. So I was just looking at like, what was the inseam length, prices, colors, everything. And I wanted to try out a good variety. So I have six different kinds I'll be trying from Walmart to Fabletics. And we're gonna see what is the best value and what ones work with garments. There are also a lot of other places that have biker shorts that I believe would work, but I'm not gonna be able to order like 20 biker shorts, like I'm not doing that, but I will have them linked in the description below if you're interested in trying them out. As far as inseam length goes, I feel like I'm usually okay with like a nine inch inseam length, um, but I know for taller girls, and I wear the petite garments, um, cause I'm on the shorter side, I'm 5'5", five five, but for girls with longer legs, I know it's harder, but the longest inseam length I was able to find was 10 and a half inches from Modest Molly. They only come in black, but I'll have them linked below for sure. Um, if you know that you need like longer. So I will be trying them on as they arrive. Okay, I'm not really good at filming stuff. I don't know how to do the angles the best, so I'm gonna be, my head's gonna be up here. I hope that's okay. These are the biker shorts from CRZ Yoga on Amazon. Honestly, we are starting off with a bang. It is a 10 inch inseam, so on me, it comes just right above the knee, and they, are such good quality. They feel so nice, they're stretchy, they're soft, there's pockets. And with the price of $20, that's pretty hard to beat based on what I've seen. So these biker shorts, I would give five out of five. Okay, next up, these are the Old Navy biker shorts in the color Apple Cinnamon. I paid $25 for this pair, but they are currently on sale for $15. Honestly, I am pleasantly surprised with these. So these are an eight inch inseam, but I ordered them in the tall length. So I feel like they are actually a little bit longer. So for me, these do work with garments. Usually an eight inch inseam would be a little bit close, but I think these fit great. The material is not quite as soft as the Amazon ones, but still very comfortable. So the Amazon ones were more like a workout material, and these are more of just like, I don't know, cotton. I don't know materials very well, um, but it's more of just like a casual, everyday. Um, I wouldn't necessarily work out in these. There are no pockets, which is a bummer, but can we talk about the color? I feel like the color is so gorgeous. I do also love how high-waisted these are. I definitely have like some more high-waisted tops that I think would look really cute with this or just with like a normal top as well. They were a little bit pricier and there's no pockets, which for me is a big deal. Um, I will give these a rating of four out of five.
These are the biker shorts from Love Olive Co. They are in the color sea green and these were $32. These are a 10 inch inseam, which again is great. I really, really love the color. They do have pockets and they are super comfortable. They feel similar to the Amazon pair, but they're a little bit thinner, which isn't bad. I kind of actually like it. I feel like especially in the summer, you don't want anything too thick. Um, and I like that they are more of like that athletic material, but they don't look super sporty. Like the seams aren't super pronounced. So like you could work out in these or wear these out and about. Um, either way, I feel like it's super cute with like a bad t-shirt. These ones I really love. I really love the color. I think it's like a unique color, the sea green. Um, they are on the pricier side. So that is tough. <laughs> I feel like that's just like the name of the game though when you're also supporting a small business because we love to support our little Utah local businesses as well. But with that said, the ones from Amazon I feel like are super comparable to these. I don't remember if Amazon had this exact color which I feel like is really cute and unique. So I think if you're looking for like a budget find, the Amazon one works. But if you have a little bit more to spend and you love the color, they also had really cute other clothes on their boutique site of like modest dresses and things like that so maybe if you're like already shopping from them or if you just want to support local businesses i think that these are a great pair of biker shorts i will give them a four out of five just because the price is a little bit higher So I just tried on the pair from Walmart. They were the really cute camel color that I was looking for everywhere. I'm super bummed because they were too short. I knew going into those ones, I was ordering without knowing the inseam length. So I was just going based on like how it looked on the model on the site. And unfortunately they are too short, but I have another pair from Walmart that is nine inch inseam. So I'm going to put those on now. Okay, here are the black biker shorts from Walmart and it was a two pack for $15. So these are the budget biker shorts. Um, they are pretty comfortable. They're not as comfortable as the others, to be honest. They feel more like the old navy ones, but not as soft. But I mean, it's like they're wearable. Like I, I would wear these all day and I wouldn't mind. Just in comparison, they're not quite as soft. Um, but I mean, I think they look great. There's no pockets, so that's a bummer. But honestly, I think these are great biker shorts. They are nine inch inseams, so I think they would only work for girlies with shorter legs. If you have longer legs, you'd probably have to do 10 inch inseam. Um, I don't know, and I feel like these fit a little bit even shorter than a normal nine inch, and they're not super high waisted, which Maybe that's fine for you. I just really like high-waisted stuff. So if you are like a college student or you're just trying to not spend a ton of money and you know a nine inch inseam will work for you, I say go for it. Overall, I would give these a four out of five. Okay, everyone, I'm in our final pair of biker shorts. These are from Athleta. They are black. They are a nine inch inseam and they were a whopping $59. I didn't even think it was possible to spend this much on biker shorts, but here we are. But with that said, these are very comfortable, very cute and flattering. I feel like these are the only pair that I felt really like sucked in in the tummy area, which I really like when it comes to workout clothes especially, and they are very soft. It is like more of like a buttery soft feeling versus like the Amazon ones are more just like smooth, if that makes sense. Like these are soft. I did also wanna read some of like the product benefits from the website because I'm like, what makes these $59 besides the brand name? Buttery soft with support that feels like a gentle hug. That's accurate. I'll give them that. Oh, back drop in pocket to stash your essentials. I was wondering, I was like, there's not even a pocket on these ones. But I guess, where do I, I don't even know where the pocket is. Where, how do I access the pocket? Is it, 
back drop in. Oh, I'm like going inside the pants. Oh, okay. There is a pocket there. It's like just at the top. Let me see if I can fit my phone in there. For reference, this is the iPhone 13. So I'm gonna see if it fits here in the back. I've never had a pocket like this before. Maybe this isn't even that crazy. Uh, oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is bigger than I thought. Can you see it? I can't even tell. That I'm surprised that actually fits my phone. I wasn't expecting it to. Wow, yeah, okay. It's like you, I'm very aware of it, but I think I would get used to that. And if you're wearing like a shirt like this, you can't even tell. Like, yes, it's been nice trying these on and wearing them, and I like them. They do exactly what they advertise themselves to do, but would I rather just spend $20 instead of 60? Like, that's literally a third of the price for something not that different. So for me, I'm gonna give these, based on like affordability and everything, I'm gonna give these like a 3.5. So after trying all six pairs of biker shorts, here are my rankings. Honestly, my number one pick would have to be the Amazon pair. However, just depending on what you're looking for, I think any of those could be great fits. So let me know if you end up ordering any of these, send me pictures, tag me in your pictures on Instagram. I would love to see you rock in your little biker short outfit. But this video is honestly super fun to film. I'm so glad that I got to try these out and now I have brands that I can recommend for you guys. So if you have any other ideas that are similar to this or like, I don't know if you want me to try modest dresses or swimsuits or whatever, um, let me know because I would love to do a video like this again in the future. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this video was beneficial for you or at least fun to watch. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for modest outfit inspiration and ideas. It was great talking to you guys. I will see you in the next one.